What's up my sad starts? Let's talk about cluster samples because a lot of kids get this confused. So basically the definition is this. The population is broken down to heterogeneous groups called clusters. Now a heterogeneous group means that in each group or in each cluster, it's a nice mix of the population. So think of each cluster as like a mini population. It's really, really mixed up, very, very different inside, hence heterogeneous. Then you're gonna randomly select at least one cluster and every single individual in that selected cluster becomes part of your sample. Now, if you got a ton of clusters, you could simply select two, three, or four clusters, but you gotta select at least one. But the key here is you're breaking your group or you're breaking your population into these clusters that are like mini populations, and then one of them or more is getting selected to be your sample. And the idea is that since each cluster is like a mini population, it really doesn't matter which one gets picked. All right, so it's a really, really cool, useful strategy, and let's talk about some advantages of it. The biggest advantage to a cluster sample, it is way, way faster, because you're not labeling every single individual in the population, you're just labeling the clusters or the groups, and then you're selecting one or more of them to be your entire sample. So the actual selection process is way faster than either stratified, where you're labeling every single person in each group, or simple random, where you're labeling every single person as well. So that makes it a lot faster. But you gotta be careful because a cluster sample is best used when the groups or clusters are pre-existing and because you don't want to like make up your own clusters because that's just a waste of time. You want to use pre-existing clusters, pre-existing groups, but you want to make sure that those groups are like many populations where it doesn't matter which one gets picked. So imagine if you're doing some type of sampling technique where your population is a hospital and you don't have time to label all the employees because you got lots of different employees, doctors, nurses, um, janitors, uh, administrators, clinical staff, whatever, you got a lot of different people, right? But if you label each floor, because if you think about it, each floor is like a mini population. It's got doctors, it's got nurses, it's got janitors, it's got clinicians, it's got secretaries, it's got everything, right? So you label the floors, which is a lot faster than labeling all the people, and then you just randomly select one of the floors to be your entire sample, hence you're gonna get a nice representation of all the different types of people in that hospital. So again, it's really important that you understand when it's best to use the cluster sample and why it's really, really fast compared to stratified or simple random because you're labeling those groups and selecting the groups. All right, that's what you need to know for cluster samples.